hey listen if you're out there training this uh, RBSD whatever you want to call it knives guns empty hand listen the only time you should be training in in this like uh, low intensity method is when you're first learning the skill sets when you're first developing uh, the control and the confidence and the mechanics to perform whatever skill set you're doing you should be performing it that way uh, nice and nice and slow for any of you guys out there who are sharing this stuff as some type of reality based defense right you need to turn your intensity up right unless you're performing your your skills un unless you're practicing it against a resisting opponent someone who is not cooperating with you whose their intent is to give you a hard time you're not sharing the right stuff first of all you're fooling yourself and you're lying to everybody that's watching your videos or that's that's trying to learn from you you're telling them that this stuff is gonna work and you have no idea because you're not introducing variables you're not introducing the level of intensity that re that needs to be there uh, to test against because that's what this all is you simply apply a scientific method right you have your theory right you attempt to disprove the theory as many times as possible okay? and when you can eliminate the amount of times that, that is disproved and then you can have someone reproduce your result now you have a valid skill set you have something that's reliable and reproducible and you can then account for the variations, whether it's the individual's uh, body type, uh, the environment, the conditions, the weapon itself, right? whether you've been attacked frontally or whether you were ambush attacked. Is it your left side or your right side? Is it your off side? All, there's tons of variables. You need to introduce those variables to your training, and if you're not doing it, you're lying to yourself, you're lying to the people who are relying on you to train them. All right, take it easy.